Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and I am excited today to bring you guys another Legend Squad Builder. Today we're going to be using three absolutely epic legends. I cannot wait to show you this team. First off, if you guys are looking to buy any coins, then be sure to check out UT Coin Traders. As always, guys, links are going to be down below in the description. And I want to say thank you first off for the, the love and support on the le other Legend Squad Builder from yesterday. Make sure you drop a like on this one today as well if you do enjoy it. Let's try and hit two and a half thousand, guys. Now, first off, in goal today we're using Manuel Neuer with that glove chemistry there's not much more you need to say apart from he is epic what a great keeper on ultimate team absolutely love the guy now right back today we are going to be using Pizcek Lucas Pizcek 85 pace 81 defending and really solid stats across the board high high work rates he pushes up acts like a winger uh, and did a very very good job he's a strong dude as well which is great uh other, well, our first centre-back even uh, links up perfectly with uh, these two guys. And it is going to be Mats Hummels. I love him. Six foot four. He's a big, big guy. Uh, perfect to win you guys headers from corners, that's for sure. Now, moving over, we go into the Serie A for the rest of this team. Or the, another part of it. And it is going to be Chiellini as our first centre-back. Uh, lots of pace. Great defending. Great heading. Good work greats. He is just fantastic on Ultimate Team. Um, and someone who wasn't too great in this squad is going to be this guy, Radu. I wish there was more option for Serie A left-backs. I really do. But he's got decent work rates and decent defending. Uh, I think I tend to judge my play is more on how well they get up and down the pitch as well which obviously is really not necessary when it comes to a left back so I should probably be a little bit less harsh on my uh, on my full backs but you know nowadays the, the perfect full back is someone who gets up and down the pitch and everybody knows it um, so you're seeing some just generic defensive clips with this team uh, I'm, I'm struggling at the moment to find these really good tackles I think uh, on next gen I do a lot more standing tackles. I try not to dive in as much and do like heavy slide tackles and stuff, which obviously look fantastic for the camera, but uh, it's just not worth it because if you miss a slide tackle, guys, you're buggered. And look at that shot, by the way. Uh, that was from El Sharawi, who you'll see in a second, but we managed to actually get the goal with Hummels just after that. Uh, so I left the clip in there with El Shard just because it was a fantastic, fantastic shot on goal. But I love this header here from Chiellini. That was a very, like, uh, looping sort of sweeping header. I really enjoyed that. It looked good for the camera. Now, moving on to our midfield then in this squad. We have got Daniele Di Rossi as our CDM in this 4 1 2 1 2. He's got decent work rates there for a defensive mid. Fantastic defending, fantastic heading, and great passing as well. Also got a lovely shot on him. I did get a goal with him, so I will show you that just shortly. Um, out on the left then, we have got Elsha. He was the one which uh, provided me with that lovely, lovely uh, shot on goal. He didn't do, otherwise he didn't really do too much. I mean, he's got great pace, he's got great dribbling, but I don't know, he doesn't really assist, and he seems to miss quite a lot of his shots, if I'm honest with you guys. Um, so, it's a bit of a weird one, and I didn't enjoy him as much as I enjoyed this guy out on the right. Jakub Blaszczykowski, or however you like to pronounce it. He got the same amount of goals, same amount of assists, but I just felt like he was, he was a better player for me. I don't know what it is about him, but... Um, he is obviously rapid, which probably helps, but <laughs> other than that, he is a great player. Um, first legend of the team then, why not? We might as well add him right about now, and it is going to be this guy, Gianfranco Zola. Uh, the legend who used to play for Chelsea, obviously, most notably. Uh, he's got 84 pace, 90 dribbling, 82 shooting, and 85 passing. I'm using that catalyst chemistry style on him, and he managed to get three goals and three assists in the 10 games we played. Um... I don't know, there was something about his shot that was really weak. Um, but other than that, I, he's such a great dribbler. Uh, I didn't get too many clips with my midfield, I must admit. It was all about the strike force in this team. But the five goals I'm going to show you now, one was from De Rossi, uh, one here from Kuba, and then I've got three with Zola. So, as I've, as I've said, I found his shot power to be a bit too low. And that did hinder some of the shots that I was actually taking. But other than that, his dribbling and stuff was so tight. It was ridiculous. And he does make good runs like this one here. But it was just, I mean, that shot is really sort of, even that little dink was a bit weak. But I say all of that and then this happened. And I thought, okay, well, that's just fantastic, isn't it? That didn't seem like a very weak shot to me. And that was perfectly placed in the top corner. 
And we're going to take advantage of the lovely replay system to show you that one again because I don't think I've seen a goal much closer to the top corner than that. That was a great strike. Um, unfortunately, only three star skills. I was absolutely um, shocked when I saw that when he first came out. But, you know, so be it. We can get by with that. Now, moving on to our strike force then. And you can see them both there. But the first one is this guy, George Weah. And he has got 93 pace, 85 dribbling, something like 86 shooting and 85 heading. It is ridiculous. Perfect work rates, high low. He's got four star skill moves. He's six foot tall. And I found him to be incredible. Best player in this team by a long shot. Um, but next best player in this team was definitely Shevchenko. He also got 10 goals in 10 games. Um, he, oh, I don't know. I don't know. The finishing on these legends is ridiculous. 87 shooting on uh, Shevchenko right there, as well as 84 pace and dribbling. Both incredible, f incredibly fun strikers to use. They partnered up really, really well. And I've got a whole bunch of goals to show you. Obviously, they both scored 10 for me, which is um, really good. Normally, you have that one standout player. But uh, I've got to say, both of them worked very well with each other. Like, as you can see there, Shevchenko took the shot. Way up, pounced on it to get that rebound as the keeper saved it. Um, Where's obviously a lot, a lot quicker and a lot... Uh, he's just a lot more agile. But Shevchenko, man, his finishing is just unreal. Get that guy on either one of his feet, even though he's got... Well, I think he's got a four-star weak foot, am I right? Am I right in saying that? If so, drop a comment down below. Um, but Weah, look at that for a finish. He just... He bursts free past the defenders and then just absolutely nails it. And then Shevchenko, boom. He's got one of the most powerful shots I've felt on this game for sure. Uh, he really, really has. And the accuracy... Top corner every single time. It was awesome. Um, yeah, so shooting-wise, it's definitely more Shevchenko. And he just makes them lovely little runs like that. And look at that for an outside-of-the-boot finish. Loved that one when it went in. And that was in a very, very difficult game that I was actually playing. And I believe I won it 5-4 in the 90th minute with a Shevchenko hat-trick. So you can't get much better than that sometimes. Weah is obviously going to be able to take advantage of these uh, horrible... KSI, start of the game, you know, hoofs up the pitch. And I've got a bit, I do do that every now and again. Um, but Shevchenko pulling away from the defenders there. So that 84 pace is not slow by any means. Like, I wouldn't class 84 pace as slow anyway. But when you're looking at Weyan, he's got that 93. It's difficult to say that uh, Shevchenko is anywhere near as quick as him. But they didn't feel too far apart. Um, nice fluid skill moves there with... Uh, with our man Shevchenko. And that's what I'm on about with that boot into the top of the net. He's just so clinical. Lovely finish there from your boy Weir. And I've just got one more goal to show you. Uh, and it is a nice one. Elshar doing some work. Rabona across. Oh, what a lovely finish. You can't complain when you've got some acrobatic goals going in as well. We're obviously going to take advantage of that replay system. Uh, and that was just a fantastic goal. So much so, I'm going to even show you yet another angle. Look at that. I love the slow-mos on this game. They look fantastic. Right, so that was the team, guys. I hope you did enjoy. This thing costs in the area of around sort of 4 million coins. Um, I actually used this quite a while ago when the players were a lot more expensive. Uh, but now, obviously, you can get it for about 4 mil so that's not too bad um you know considering what it was it was more like a seven or an eight mil last week uh, which is you know great that they're all coming down and stuff so this is the point in the video guys where we have come to an end if you could drop a like that would be insane i'd be really appreciative appreciative i'll catch you next time peace